Hello everyone, my name is McCade Marshall with MLM Publishing and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video we shoot every single week for our readers and viewers from all over the world. So thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and coworkers. You can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email and also onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all our latest videos. And the channel is just my name, McCabe Marshall. You can also subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com, clicking on that Word of the Week tab on the left, filling out the form there, and we would be more than happy to add you to our emailing list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is intercession. Throughout the scriptures, men and women of God were used mightily through the power of intercession. Intercession is the action of saying a prayer on behalf of another person. Intercession is powerful because it is one of the greatest weapons we possess as believers in Christ. You may not be able to physically change circumstances around you, or in the lives of your loved ones. But you can pray. No one can stop you from praying. At the end of the book of Job, we see the power of intercession in the life of Job and his foolish friends. God tells Eliphaz in Job 42, 7 through 8, I am angry with you and your two friends, for you have not spoken accurately about me as my servant Job has. So now take seven bulls and seven rams and go to my servant Job and sacrifice a burnt offering for yourselves. My servant Job will pray for you and I will accept his prayer and not deal with you according to your folly. You have not spoken the truth about me as my servant Job has. It is only because of Job's intercession that God did not punish his friends as they deserved. In the same way, sometimes there are people headed straight for hell who are only being stopped because of an interceding parent or loved one. Your prayers are powerful. Your prayers of intercession can alter the course of another person's life forever. Intercession can also be made for our brothers and sisters in Christ who are going through various hardships. In the New Testament, when Peter was wrongfully thrown into prison, the church made intercession for him day and night. The scriptures say in Acts chapter 12, verses 5 through 7, But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep fastened with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly there was a bright light in the cell and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, Quick, get up. And the chains fell off his wrists. When we pray earnestly for someone, angels are released from heaven to bring about supernatural breakthroughs. As believers, we are not helpless victims in this world. We serve the living God. We do not have to sit around and wait for life to happen to us. We can be on the offense, praying the power of God into our lives and the lives of our loved ones. 
If the church had not fervently prayed for Peter the night before his trial, he might not have lived to see another day. The intercession of the church delivered Peter from an early death. The ultimate intercessor is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The reason we are in right standing with God right now is because Jesus makes intercession for us. Romans 8.34 tells us, Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Jesus lives on forever as the eternal priest before God. Furthermore, Jesus is able to save anyone who comes to him. Hebrews 7.25 says, Therefore Jesus is able also to save forever those who draw near to him through to God through him, since he has always lives to make intercession for them. Right now, Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God talking about you. He is making special requests on your behalf. Whenever the devil tries to make an accusation against you, he must go through Jesus. The good news is the devil's accusations against us have been defeated through the blood of Christ. Revelation 12 verse 10 tells us, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. Satan's desire is to condemn you in the eyes of God. His goal is to destroy you, and if it weren't for Jesus, he would be successful at it. The power of the gospel and salvation in Jesus has completely and utterly destroyed the devil's grip on God's people. This great news is why we meet at church to sing God's praises and learn more about him. We praise the Lord because we have an intercessor who will never fail. Our sins failures, and mistakes have all been nailed to the cross. The devil's accusations are nullified and made void because of what Jesus did for us on Calvary's hill some 2,000 years ago. The Apostle Paul tells us in Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 through 15, You were dead because of your sins and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Your enemy is the devil. Since the beginning of time, all the devil has ever done is accuse God's children of wrongdoing. When Jesus came to the earth as fully God and fully man, he offered up his life as a living sacrifice to cover the sins of the world. Jesus' act of crucifixion dismantled the devil's accusations made against God's children. Today you are clean and set free because of Jesus. Jesus made intercession on your behalf so that you could be with him forever in eternity. Know today that intercession is a gift from God and it is your right as a child of God to pray on behalf of others. Well, I want to just pray over you really quick that you would get this message deep into your spirit about intercession. So wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, thank you so much for everyone who is listening and watching right now. Thank you for the gift of intercessory prayer. Because of the intercession of Jesus, we now have eternal life. We intercede right now for our loved ones and for those who are in our workplace. We ask, Lord, that you would show them your eternal love, faithfulness, and power. We pray for the lost and broken in this world. 
We ask that you would show them your love and the forgiveness and restoration that can only come by a personal relationship with you. We pray for the sick, Father. We ask that you would touch them with your healing hand and perform a miracle. Thank you today and every day for being all that we need. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and love in your life is by first accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus tells us in John 14, 6 that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. Jesus came to the earth some 2,000 years ago, and he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He did this so that anyone who comes to him can be forgiven of all their sins, past, present, and future. He died on the cross and rose from the grave so that we wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell, but we could be with God in heaven forever, for eternity after this life. So if you have never received the free gift of Christ's eternal salvation, would you just say this prayer with me and invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life? Wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, Thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you just said that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. So welcome to the family of God. The next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church, Christian community, so you can learn more about God and be encouraged by other people in your faith. Also, be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ and read the Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. Reading the Bible is how we learn more about God and what He says, and it helps us to go stronger in our faith. Also, pray every day. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. You can talk to God anytime, day or night. He is always available to you. The scriptures say to cast your cares upon the Lord because he loves you, he cares for you, and he wants to be involved in every single aspect of your life. So read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure to tell someone you know that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend, a family member, someone at work or school, or a pastor or preacher. Tell someone you know that is a Christian that you gave your life to Christ so that they can encourage you along in your faith. We also have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website is just my name, McCadeMarshall.com. On McCadeMarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you will click on that Word of the Week tab on the left, you can scroll through over 200 different Word of the Week videos that we have done in the past. These videos are great teaching videos that you can watch, re-watch, and share. You can watch them with a spouse, a friend, a coworker, or a loved one. Also, I'm a writer, and here at MLM Publishing, we mail out seasonal newsletters every three months to readers all over the world. If you aren't on our mailing list, would you click on that newsletters tab on the left and fill out the form there? We would be more than happy to start mailing you a gospel newsletter every three months. I've authored a few books that you can order on the website as well. My latest book is called Why I Stand with Israel. 
in why I stand with Israel, I share seven reasons to support the modern Jewish state of Israel. And another book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. Finding Your Keys is about discovering the authority you have as a believer. In this book, you will discover 12 different keys, which are spiritual truths that will unlock God's supernatural power in your life as you learn to apply them. Another book I wrote is called Breathe. Breathe is all I got about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. At the end of each chapter, there are prayers from the scriptures that you can pray over yourself and over your loved ones. So it's a great resource for going deeper in your faith. And the very first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day devotional that will help you learn how to spend time with God every single day on a consistent basis. If you don't have Why I Stand with Israel, Finding Your Keys, Breathe, or Tasting the Goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on McCadeMarshall.com, and I would be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I would like to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are called to intercession. Your prayers are powerful and effective. The things you say and the things you pray matter. You are not a victim of this world, but a child of God. You have the blood of Christ covering all your sins, failures, and mistakes. Just as the prayer of Job restored his own friends, so your prayers have the power to restore the lives of your loved ones. You are rising higher and going to new levels of success you never thought possible before. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve in Jesus' name. Well, we love you so much here at MLM Publishing, and we are praying for you every single day. God bless you. Mm -hmm.